you want to get rid of litter in my city, use the designated bins. showing the citizens that we follow the letter of the law. I, law-abiding citizen, believe we can make it a better place. So, what do you think? May I ask, uh, what do you do exactly? I tell those rats, we're taking back our city. <laughs> right, right, got it. Law-abiding citizen is getting positive feedback from voters. Nick? This Looks like it could be a job for Frank Cohen. If this is more stuff about being a superhero, I don't want to hear it. How about these names? Nightblades. Fury Girl. The Human Shield. A Lady Woman. I like my own name. And I like my life the way it is. Juno, I'm begging you! It makes so many people happy. Above all. Boy, do I hope I am not hearing the beginnings of a sexual harassment suit. No. No, I'll be fine. <sighs> Franco, Juno, this is a law-abiding citizen. The city thinks he can help us. Pleased to meet you, mates. What say we kick off a brainstorming session with some Saskatoon berry smoothies? Better than ever. Oh, no problem, Melinda. We at Cleaning Squad pride ourselves on. Oh, damn, that's probably my boss. I'm gonna ignore it. This may sound silly, but I have tickets for Chimps on Ice and no one to go with. Oh my god, I love Chimps on Ice! It's so hard finding dedicated ice heads. Uh, see you Saturday at 7. Maybe we can go for a drink after. I'll be there. Back to the drama. You've no idea the stress in this dog. You think cleaning squad is a thankless job, and then a beautiful, charming lady asks you out on a date. whoop de doo Oh, remember that on our Saturday jam session with Law Abiding Citizen. I don't like how Melinda makes a big deal out of everything. I mean, she plans weddings. Weddings are stressful. I can't imagine planning one. My uncle had a heart attack at his third wedding. See? I'm confused over the appeal of chimps on ice. They skate. Do they skate? Juno, Juno, Juno. They take you on a journey. I just don't want to see you jumping the gun with someone who might let you down. God, I'm starting to sound like my mother. Okay, well, thank you for your concern, but let's get real. It's an amazing show with an amazing woman. What could possibly go wrong? Clown Prince of Crime's terror campaign is directed at the inner city, prompting police to shut down all roads and public transportation. Citizens are advised to remain home. However, the Hippodrome sold out show of Chimps on Ice will go ahead. <sighs> That's that then. Melina's okay. She lives in Upper Gotham Palisades. It's like a five minute drive to her. Oh, same with the Law Following guy. Please, Nick, join Franco and me on our unpaid work evening. Hey, I gave you money for pizza. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm here. And the Chimps on Ice is here. It, it's actually only seven blocks on foot. Yeah, but look at those seven blocks. You've got the Narrows, you've got Studio 31, and Little New Jersey. That leads into the Grand Theater District. That sounds okay. Yeah, it was and before that crazy tenor murdered the entire cast of Pegliacci. Uh, well, have a great weekend, everyone. Traffic is pretty light. No crime either. I know. Talk about bad luck. Grace. Humility. Abiding. Thank you so much for giving me the honor of protecting your fair city from the foes who dare 
to break the law in your presence and my presence. Well, Mr. McWeberson, we really did it this time. Why couldn't I try to hurt you? I said, be the best you that I can be. You braved the traffic and the crime. <laughs> yes. Oh, we just live outside of downtown. It was an easy drive, which means we can stay extra late. Excellent. Extra wheat germ in your smoothie, mate. So far, so good. You like this shirt? I got a whole box of them. I just got them today. Look at these. Right here. $29.95. <laughs> awesome. You got any cash? The city is planning a three-part approach to safety. Whoa. Oh, I'm lightheaded. Nothing like an all-natural eye, mate. Have you ever read the Metropolitan Bylaws Handbook? I mean, like, really read it. It's mind-blowing, mate. Mind-blowing. how ordinary people can be super by... Okay, can I ask you something, bro? Oh, oh. Mate, go for it, bro. Am I invisible? Can we please get to work? Say... Say there was someone with superpowers. Shouldn't she... Or he... Or... They... Shouldn't they do something about it? Like... Go out and kick ass? And use superhero names that their friends came up with? Franco. Can I call you Franco? Would you say I'm a hero? Most people would say yes. Do I have abilities above and beyond the average man? Sure. But I didn't get my powers from the yellow sun or, or gamma rays. Radioactive bullflex, maybe. Franco, mate, it doesn't have to be about leaping over tall buildings or spinning webs of any size. Be the best you that I can be. You know, I say that to myself every morning in front of the mirror. So, uh, as for some advice... Shut oh. up! They're my powers and I'll use them how I damn well want! Is what that person would say. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go buy myself a pizza with Cora's money. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, no problem. Nick, no way. Roderick, where the hell's Melinda? 10 a.m. My doorbell rings. It's my neighbor, Melinda Strong, saying weddings change. She's got to drive down to Hex Becca. She's got a ticket. Would I like to go? Jim's on ice. I said I'm the world's biggest ice head. And an evening out with Chief Chimp Nick Hulse. Beers are on me, buddy. <laughs> I'll take two. See you again. Oh, absolutely. We're like twins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's good actually. <laughs>